Hello everyone, this is Maurizio, editor-in-chief of Embedded.com and today I am here at InnoX in Taiwan and I have the pleasure to be here with one of the winners of the IC Taiwan Grand Challenge with Bjorn Armstrong, CEO and founder of NSS Water. Thank Hi you. Bjorn, thanks a lot for being here, how's it going? It's going good, uh, my uh, second time in Taiwan and first time at InnoX. Good, good. So far so good. Good. So, congratulations uh, on the winning your uh, your project uh, and the, your IC uh, Taiwan Grand Challenge. So, can you, you introduce uh, yourself, your company, and your winning project? Absolutely. Yeah. As mentioned, my name is Bjorn. Um, I'm CEO and founder of NSS Water, and uh, been doing this now for the research for seven years. Uh, the company is five years old, and I've been working two and a half years in the company now full-time and uh, what we're doing basically in short terms are providing the most pure water for semiconductor mm -hmm. manufacturing good yeah so what is the core technology or innovation your you your team uh, uh, is working on mm. and how it is different from existing solutions yeah one of, start with the big difference yeah. is that today you will have um, a centralized di water plan mm -hmm. feeding all your tools at once uh, when we start the research, we clearly see that uh, there's one quality of water where you produce it mm -hmm. and another quality where you use it, which is less, is a worse quality over here. So w our solution is as a point of use solution that we, we target every specific application, which is a new way of thinking. Uh, and we do it by, we have a, like a core technology. This is just a small 3D printed version, right? So it's based on something called membrane distillation where you will have a hot feed, uh, a membrane and a cold feed. And then we extract the pure water molecule from the hot, mm. it condenses on the cold and we have pure water. So that's a very quickly the basic technology of it. Nice. Yeah. And what are the main application areas you are targeting? Yeah, the main application areas I would say is the, it's, it's called a sub 10 nanometer process, mm. like the front end use. Um, Cause that's where we see that they have struggles to achieve higher yield. Um, and it's because of the contamination. It's like you build so small stuff and to remove contamination is extremely important. Uh, so we do that on the front end side, but of course we also can do recycling uh, because the technology is very good at whatever liquid you have to extract the water molecules from it. So therefore we can also do a lot of recycling. As a startup in IC industry, so as a startup in industry, so what are some of the biggest challenges that you faced and how uh, have you addressed them? Yeah, you know, a classic answer as a startup, the one of the biggest challenges is always funding, right? <laughs> uh, but we, are, we address this by, you know, we, we, we apply for grants, we're looking for investors, uh, we, we're raising money at the moment, for example. But it's just to make sure you have a good, dedicated team. Um, and in the end, long run, it will, it will sort it out. So, talking about uh, this award, mm -hmm. uh, I see Taiwan Grand Challenge uh, uh, Award, what does it mean for your team and what's next? What is your next major goal mm, from your team? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great honor, to be honest. Uh, it's uh, so much bigger than I first thought. Like, um, you know, as I said, I, in the startup where everything runs so fast, sometimes you don't have time to uh, like think about stuff. It's so when I got here, it's like, wow, th this, this uh, price is really big. So it means a lot to us gives us a lot of PR, uh, they help us with the network and everything, the organization, so it's, it feels, feels great <laughs> to be honest, yes. super happy for it. Good, congratulations again on winning the IC Time Grand Challenge. Thank you so and, much. Uh, see you next, thank you. Yeah, thanks so much.